Okay, you're alive. What's up, guys? So we are, <laughs> I'm laughing because we're doing something today that I don't think many people on this earth can even talk about experiencing um, and definitely filming. Um, we are test driving a Vector. So what's interesting about this car is Vector has such a crazy history. I mean, you, you, you Google the word Vector and automotive or, you know, Vector and the former owner of the company who I actually still think um, he's preparing to produce cars or has talked about producing cars again. But Vector as a company had so much crazy history. Um, at one point, the, the factory closed and there were, there were there's an article online talking about how the owner, Jerry Weigart, locked himself in the factory. Um, so there's these crazy stories, and I would say even more crazy than the stories are this crazy car. I mean, this car is so absurd. You look at the window here and how the window opens and the doors, um, how the doors open, and the entire sort of shape of this car, there's not much else that's like it. What's interesting about it, though, is this specific car is one of the original M12s that actually had a Lamborghini Diablo powertrain in the car. The powertrain was reversed, but to be honest with you, the reason that we bought this car and that we actually are excited about the car is of its Lamborghini history, and we'll get into that in a few moments, but for now, let's test drive the Vector M12. drive the clutch pedals nice uh, steering wheel is very nice and, and the handling is not bad um, I, uh, from my understanding and you can actually see it's pretty fast it feels a lot like an early Diablo versus a later Diablo um, the engine has a, a it's it's very raw like the early 91 92 cars um, it's two-wheel drive you can actually definitely break the rear tires loose the wheels and tires on this car are not the original, but they're the original size. So the original um, wheels on this car were made by Root OZ, identical size to a 1998 Diablo SV, for example. Very funky interior. I love that it's all covered in Alcantara, which is original. The steering wheel is, well, it's it's just ugly. It's an, it's an airbag out of some American car. Um, the AC is completely non-existent. I mean, we're, we're barely getting AC out of this AC system. But I gotta say... Okay, maybe the brakes aren't that good, but the car is very fast. It handles pretty well for being such a big car. And it's definitely cool. I mean, this is... It, it's, it's... I don't even know how to describe it. It is like driving a spaceship. Everyone's looking at you. Nobody knows what the car is. As fast as y'all, at least. Yeah, it rips. So it's quick. Yeah. Now, I would say the most funky part of this car has to be these windows here. So the main window here actually does not go up or down. With this button here, we have about... I don't even think that's two inches. That's like, that's like barely two inches, maybe three inches. So they really serve no purpose. You're not, you're not picking up fast food out of here. You're not really doing much. And then you'll see the one very awkward part is the door opening itself. You literally, to get out of the car, need to push the seat back 
and then try to maneuver yourself out. I'm not a tall guy. I'm actually pretty short. I'm, I lie and say I'm 5'8". I'm probably 5'7 and a half, and I can barely get in and out of this car. So similar to an early Countach, I'm gonna drive this car for a little bit with the door up to get some ventilation in here, uh, inside the cockpit. It is getting a little hot. Um, it is a hot day in Miami, I will uh, preface that. But it is, it's a cool car. Overall, it feels, the best way to describe this car is it actually feels like a prototype Diablo. It feels so much like an early Diablo. It's, it's definitely not as rigid um, as a Diablo, and, and the fit and finish is not as nice as a Diablo. But it's a cool part of history. There were only 14 M12s ever produced making it one of the rarest supercars, I would say, of the 90s. So this version of the Vector, the M12, was actually produced by Megatech. So Megatech, if you're not familiar with the name, was the Indonesian company that actually purchased Lamborghini in the early 90s from Chrysler. They were responsible for cars like the SC30 and some incredible cars that came out of Lamborghini. Unfortunately, Megatech struggled with Vector. They only produced 14 of these M12s and in a struggle actually struggled with the founder and it was considered as a hostile takeover when they took over Vector. So it's a really interesting history. What they essentially did was installed a, a, a new design for the body to fit the Diablo drivetrain. The chassis that they designed, there were some Lotus engineers that helped design the chassis. And this body is probably the most interesting part of the car. It was actually designed by Peter Stevens. Peter Stevens is the gentleman that also designed the McLaren F1 and the Jaguar, uh, Jaguar XJR15. So very, very cool. Um, the history's funky. The, the car's absolutely absurd. You either love or hate the design. The drivability is actually not bad. Um, you know, I can see out of the back. It's not, it's not as bad as all the, the Diablos. The AC's horrible. Um, you know, but besides that, it's not bad. Very, very cool car. I have to say that if you have a supercar collection, you've got to have a vector. I mean, it's such a piece of history. I can't tell you how many guys have reached out to us and been like, oh my God, that was my dream car. I, I, I saw it on a TV show in the 90s. Um, so it's, it's such an interesting part of automotive history. And in the context of Lamborghini's history, it's very, very interesting. Okay, so let's face it, the Vector M12 has to be the most difficult car I've ever tried to get out of. Um, and I get in and out of Countach's and Diablo's all day long. So that's saying a lot. And let's face it, this is probably the most controversial car we've ever bought. It's the most absurd car we've ever bought. But the Vector M12 is so freaking cool. I mean, if, if this doesn't scream 1990s, 1980s, complete absurdity, I don't know what does. But that's what makes this car so special is all of its weird details. It's not the most beautiful. It's a completely absurd design. Yes, the designer has incredible history with the McLaren F1 and the XJR15. And yes, the power plant I love. I love these Diablo motors. They're fast, they're, they're wild. But the fit and finish is very much like a prototype. But that's what makes this car special. It's the fact that there's 14 built. There was only one built in this purple color, which is so wild. It's so pretty for this car. It works so great. You know, it's it's not perfect, it's not the best car ever made, but it is just so freaking cool.